I think there's such an advantage today of what's out there on the internet. I mean, I, my, I think there's two learning curves. I think there's when you're a real estate agent, I think there's the, um, the understanding, the, the actual numbers, the, when we were talking about investment property specifically, understanding the investment and understanding the jargon, the, the, uh, you know, the FAR, like all those crazy things that they definitely don't teach you, um, through the IDFPR courses. Um, there, there's that part that now there's a lot more out there for me. I remember just sitting on LoopNet for hours, um, on end, just looking at deals and understanding what things meant. And then there's the other part of just the, the transaction flow, uh, what's normal, what's right. You know, when's the attorney overstepping themselves or when is an attorney suck and not doing their job? When's the lender dragging ass? Like, I think, uh, those two types, those two directions, uh, are the two areas that you really can, if we're going to break down the whole expert part and, and, uh, and it takes years to learn both those. Some do it faster than others on one or the other. And that usually offsets the weakness on the other side. I totally agree. And sometimes I think like what you just described is an advantage in today's market where like you can, you can, you know, you have access to pretty much everything <laughs> like online. Um, but sometimes like when you started, it might've been, you know, you were probably able to outwork somebody and, and like absorb the knowledge faster than other people who might've been able to fake it a little bit more in today's, you know, in today's world where everything is so Googleable. Well, the, the crazy thing <laughs> now is uh, every, it's it's totally flipped. So for me, I, so I got my license in 2003 and, and the whole before the crash and, and before, you know, all the red fins of the world. Stuff. So I, I truly like would find properties for clients. You know, you're at LoopNet or CoStar, yeah. or there's a couple other amateur ones back then, but you had to find the property for the clients. And then once it went under contract, you kind of wiped your hands and, and everything kind of just happened at that point. Now it's like that stuff's usually out there and there's some cold calling and stuff like that. But uh, now it's getting it from the offer to the closing table is truly the where the uh, brokers earn their money, I think. So that's been a huge shift in the last two decades of just our industry as a whole. The biggest yeah. thing that comes to mind, you know, on that is um, when I started and this is, you know, this is 11 or 12 years ago, whatever. Um, it was like building your database was very manual. Like it was, um, it was like, I mean, <laughs> sorry, my, my yes. supportive wife, like to the, to the point where like, when we, you know, when we were spending time together, she would come with me to like drive around the Northwest side of the city on the weekends or in the evening or whatever, like to take pictures of buildings and take pictures of signs and take pictures of dumpsters because they have, you know, the management sign on it. Um, and, you know, I had an online catalog, of, you know, that I took notes, that, you know, this building looks shabby, this is in really good shape. Sometimes you see the guy around, you know, gal, and introduce yourself, whatever. Um, and now it's all on COSAR and everybody's phone numbers there, <laughs> email addresses there, pictures of the buildings there, last time it sold, mortgage information, you know. And the guys that were 10 years before me were like, oh, you have it easy because, you know, here's my catalog of like Polaroid pictures with, the, with the, you know, notes on the back. So, the market's definitely evolved and like, um, you know, information gets easier or, you know, but again, I was, I, I'm kind of happy that I had to do all that because I don't think anybody else is driving around with their girlfriend, like taking pictures on the weekends. 